Good morning my fellow farming friends, we're back with another episode of Farming Simulator as the milk gets delivered to wherever it gets delivered in this map. I'm not exactly sure, we do have some great demand, I'm not exactly sure what that is, but it's wheat so nothing too important. So I guess it's somewhere that away. I have no idea where the actual milk factory is, but I went ahead and I've turned on my forage wagon, I've gone ahead and done some cutting of the grass. Grass is good because it always grows. Uh, what we should do is also lower that and no, yeah, no. actually, actually, pretty good. You can see the grass being cut here. But let's go back into this mode. So we are getting the grass back into our forage wagon because that's on. Put on cruise control. And what I went ahead and did uh, is I gave the cows the grass, which is a uh, thirty. It raised their productivity to thirty-five percent. You still need to add like mixed silage and all this other stuff, which is just so much more difficult than it previously was, but there's a cow eating its stuff. But unfortunately, there is a bit of a problem. So now that you've seen that, what we should do is, there's so many buttons you need to press. Let's lift that up and do that. Now, go to the forage wagon, turn off the forage wagon. Now, everything's working perfectly. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and deliver the grass to the cows. But unfortunately, you can't do what I did in Farming Simulator 2011 is just for a couple of hours, just keep on cutting grass and then deliver it a trailer full after trailer full to the cows um, so they have enough food for like for you to speed up time and just leave the game on overnight so you can make a lot of money with cows. Cows don't really pay off as well as they did last game, but the maximal capacity of the feeding trough suffices to feed the animals for six days. So yeah, that is very sad. You can't just spam, mass spam the grass, which is quite unfortunate. And it also does seem like our dreams of selling all the canola and having a potato harvesting uh, field won't come to fruition, which is very, very sad. I'm gonna keep this tractor just for the time being. Many of you guys want either a new tractor or some hay baling machinery. Hay baling machinery seems decent, but the problem with that is, uh, wait, it's over here, and then we've got to go. Where is it? We haven't really looked at it too much, though, have we? Spreaders, no, manure spreaders. Oh, we're talking about manure spreaders. We, we do have actually a fair amount now, so maybe that's something we could have a look at, although that's not really that much. Slurry tankers, that's a lot better. Doesn't say the width of it, because I think this would, these like sprays would widen themselves out for a bit more range. Oh, we've got some mowers, no windows, toes, loading wagons, bale technology. This is what we want. So I want square bales, definitely round bales, just a massive pain in the backside. So current big pack, 1290 square baler it is, which is $120,000. And we'll have to get this, the RQ and Auto Stack FS6372, because Putting the bales in manually would just take forever. Although I will need this for the sheep. So actually, you know what? We'll just buy this because it's the cheapest it'll be for the time that we're playing this. It doesn't go any lower than 20%, I don't think. Uh, so we've bought that. And you can have like specific feeding technology, which mixes grass, chaff, and straw. What else is there? Okay, that's about it. Oh yes, and I also went ahead and installed some mods, so I could go show them. I'll do a mod episode today, hopefully it'll be up. Which is why there's been a little le less episodes uh, for you guys to watch, because I've just been working on different things, such as this, as well as Black Ops 2. I do have the game early, fantastically. Still haven't played it or recorded, but I've just had a uh, quick gaze at it. It seems pretty decent. These tractors, some of you guys want me to get a Lamborghini, but, I don't know. It's got exactly the same power, so I don't really think it's worth it. Probably the next couple of tractors we'll get are these ones. But they cost a lot, so that's still a while off, yeah. Uh, but apart from that, there's not much really going on, apart from maybe being able to buy this field. Uh, how much does this field cost? $66,000. Let's go buy that field. And what I'll do, this is the field right next to the sheep. And I don't know that some of you guys want the... Well, you say that the Amazon proper hopper is more than enough for this area. The proper, the Amazon proper hopper is just such a pain in the backside, it's not even remotely funny. So I'm not going to invest in that. 
So that's all nice and well. Let's go keep on cutting some grass. Actually, you know what we should do? Turn the forage wagon on. Okay, as it rolls down. Change tools. Do this. 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 And we'll actually drive ahead over into the sheep farm. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So we'll deliver some grass to the sheep because all the sheep need is grass instead of corn and all that stuff. Like silage and chaff or whatever. So what we can do is just cut the grass along the side. Which is in the way so we can fill up this massive forage wagon. It definitely has quite a lot of See, this is the most interesting thing because all that grass. Okay, it just made sense to me now. So I was wondering, this is a massive forage wagon, and we don't really need all that much. We're gonna need about 10,000 tons of grass or kilos or whatever uh, for the uh, 10,000 kilos for or units, whatever this game uses, to fill up the trough for the cows. But I think if you have more cows, you can have a lot more grass in the trough. So that makes sense. I think the sheep are just around the next to the mill, hopefully at least. That's where I attempt to be going. This looks nice, even though the mirrors don't work. <laughs> Just random blank images. So I can't remember how many sheep we have. I think it was about 20 that we've got. So that shouldn't last long, like the amount of grass. Like I think we have more than enough. So it shouldn't last us that long to get enough grass for them. But I think I should go invest in some more. We're down to $36,000. I'm not exactly sure how that works out. Let's get finances, other. What do you mean by other? What's other? I can't remember what we spent all our money on. Uh, so where exactly are the sheep? Okay. Oh, we're still gonna keep on going, okay. Don't tell me they're on the other side of the river, are they? They actually might be. I'm so forgetful. Oh yes, and talking about me being forgetful, I did uh, just then add the game save that I was talking about in the previous episode. I'll do that right away as soon as this episode's uploaded for you guys so you can see that. Uh, but, no, I'm driving too fast. Uh, it is in a RAR format, so you have to un -RAR and just take the folder out there, which is save game one. Uh, so make sure you don't overwrite your own save game because most of you guys will probably be playing on save game one as well. Just a little community service announcement. I wonder how our grass guy is going. And I've never actually given any grass to the sheep. So hopefully there's going to be some troughs. Oh, okay, there they are. So it's nothing too fancy. Oh, no, that's a trough. Is it? It doesn't seem like a trough. Actually, maybe it is. Yeah, it is fantastic right. <laughs> so as you can see this is the maximum capacity for that it just took us half a second to fill it all up so what I'll do is I don't know what's for sale oh that's nice yeah but okay that's an attachment it's got a 40 meter working width that's really nice but say so it uses fertilizer not manure I do want to make good use of my manure so wait let's go back to here I want an animal, so there they are. Sheep. We have to buy a heck of a lot more because we need to. Let's make him rival the chickens. Actually, we we'll buy about two hundred. So it costs what dollar maintenance a day as well, which is nothing at all. So we can afford to do that because we still have that solar collector. 
Uh, 150 should be good. And now, let's go back to delivering that. Fantastic. So that's pretty much the maximum amount of sheep that we can have. Now let's go over to the cutters. Well, not the cutters, but the uh, grass fields. Let's turn on our lights. Let's go first person mode as well. I think that's where the second field is. Are we actually cutting the grass here? Yeah, good. So all of this should be ready as well. Actually, no, it's not. Hasn't completely grown out yet, unfortunately for us. So back down to $14,000, but we've got lots of canola, lots of animals to keep this company. So money's not really that much of an issue. So continually cut this grass. Probably should start uh, sowing some fields, shouldn't I? With maybe some wheat or some barley, just something a little bit different. Let's continue with this though. Can we turn around? Let's go to all out, let's check out some other vehicles. Are these guys still doing the grass? He's doing absolutely nothing. This guy is our forage wagon. Okay, how about I go check how up on our canola? I'm not sure when prices. In 2229, nothing too good. Hmm. But I think I should go ahead and sell some of it. Because I'm sick and tired of not having enough money and just I want to buy some better stuff. And so what I'll do is I'll give up on my dream for some potato growing and harvesting the machinery and we'll go ahead and do some other stuff instead what I'll do is actually I'll buy a much better sower that's what I'll do the one that cultivates as well with all this money that we will be making from the canola let's go to the statistics Okay, that's going to take its sweet time to fill up. Do you have any more lights on? No, you only have that front. Oh, no, you do. And you can press the home button to turn on that working light, which is kind of neat as well. Anyway, we're back to the morning, so hopefully this episode won't all be in the night. Uh, you're all done. How about you drive up to that field? that canola storage go down it's gonna get down to about 130,000 and then we'll stop there we go and the grass is still in its baby stages so we'll leave this over there and there we go hey presto all that wiring and stuff well, off we go on the log journey should we try to attempt to traverse over these mountains? No, I don't think so. Great demand for potatoes, really? Potatoes. It's, they just give us a great demand for things that we don't want. So this is, we're still gonna have two massive uh, trailer fulls worth of canola, which is good. I'll probably go ahead and harvest and sow some more fields, well the same fields that we've been doing for the whole episode, but, or the whole let's play, but uh, I'll go ahead and harvest them a couple more times, I'll probably just do some barley and wheat, and then we'll start getting in, interested into some corn, because we have not been doing anything with corn, you need a special header for it yeah, this is taking its damn time, but at least it can carry it person. Okay, let's check the prices though. We do want to make sure we do get a good price. 2,500 is the best. No, don't be stuck.
plus we're making all this money from the solar collector because we're playing at 120 times speed so that's pretty good and also thank you to all the mathematicians that did calculate how much money we'd be making if we bought a windmill for four thousand dollars an hour profit and then uh, we went to sleep for about eight or so hours playing at 120 times speed we'd be making a lot of money a heck of a lot of money God damn, the canola price has gone down a lot. Only two thousand dollars. Is it like that everywhere? Really, more wheat? I'm sick and tired of wheat. We just had wheat at the beginning of the episode. That sucks. Okay. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I've got faith. Yes. No! What the hell is this? No! Oh no. Wow, that's weird. Oh yeah, the angle's like much too steep. And we can't do anything about it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, so we're gonna have to go down a little bit more legitimately, I think. Oh, this way. Let's go down this way. Let's explore a little bit. We haven't been doing much of that. Oh boy. Yeah, that's legit. <laughs> oh no, that sucked. Alright. Let's go to the map. There's got to be some other way they could get down here. Yeah, there is. It's taking its damn time. It's going to be half the episode with this. But why won't the inn have canola in demands? Take it, sweet time. And of course, we've got more than enough uh, eggs now. It's at 57, no doubts. Oh, we hit the maximum amount of wool. Okay. That's interesting. Okay. So I'll go ahead and use that to our advantage. Obviously, got 57 eggs. Um, the one good thing about the cows is that I don't think that there's a excuse me a maximum amount of milk that you can have that's quite handy uh, this is taking so long I don't like it I'm pretty sure you can go down through. let's go down this way you know I think if you do cruise control then you tab. I think they'll still keep on moving. Um, anyway, the grass hasn't grown out here, which is a bit unfortunate. You can do your own thing. No. You haven't stopped. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to have to edit this bit out until we get there. So it seems to be half an hour later. We finally made it into the inn. See so how much money we'll be making. I'd say about hopefully 150000 Actually, I didn't even check the demand. They did that. What was the price? It was, oh, it wasn't that good, but that's okay. Now let's go here, and what I want to buy is a much better cedar, so what we'll do is... Oh, this is 155,000, okay, that's cool. That's completely cool with me. We'll be making that pretty soon. So what I want to do now is we'll go to vehicle selection, tell these guys to all come back. Those bits and then the new bailer. There we go. And actually, I should also oh, get rid of console commands and I will tell this front loader to come back as well. There we go. So now, what we'll be able to do is do something a little bit more interesting, which is get this tractor and attach that wagon thing to it. Okay. Now that we've got this attached, we're going to be driving to where the sheep are. Maybe there's a way we could turn to the right over here. That is where the sheep are, isn't it? No, it's not. It's the other way. Oh, why is it so confusing? 
because when we're turning left, it's like right on the map. So it just makes it so much more confusing for me. And I don't remember where the chick well, I don't know where the chickens are, but where the sheep or the cows are. Don't have that met down pat memorized. Yeah, it's just so it's still alright. And yeah, you do have to cross the river, so I guess it wouldn't be the best just to go that down that way. It's so hot here where I live in Australia, it's ridiculous. In Sydney. Now I want to have my fan on, because I have the worst room, it's facing the sun. It's like a uh, west side facing room. And the only window I've got is facing the sun in the afternoon, so I get the brunt of it. And it's no fun. And if I have my fan on, you guys will be hearing a like wind coming through the microphone. Uh, so I'm stuck. Anyway, let's go across this river. It should be up here. I'm just going to first person mode. So what I'm going to try to attempt to do is this, this machine on the back of this chapter. Because I will attempt... First, let's see if we're doing this right. I'll get the front loader and attempt to place the sheep or cotton wool bales onto the back of this um, trailer. It should work out perfectly. That's what the goal is at least. Okay, we made it. Perfectly unscathed. Alrighty, now, where are the sheep bales? There's some over here. Is there a horseshoe over here? Nope, doesn't seem like it. There could be, you never know. But I don't think so. Now, where are the sheep bales? There's somewhere over here. Clearly not. Well, maybe. What did I do that for? I want to get out of this vehicle. Weren't they somewhere here, from memory? Interesting. Alright, well, back to the front loader we go. Which is right over here. Let's check the statistics. It seems like there's a lot of wool. Okay, go that way. And we come back. Well, at least it's going to be daytime now, so we'll be able to see what's going on. And yeah, they do, they do seem to be going through a fair amount of grass. It's not nothing too major though, especially because we have so many. We've got about 150 sheep, and we've already gone through a day, so they're going through about a ton a day. That's nothing really. They'd probably be making a lot more wool, but we just haven't exploited the pallets just yet. Good old morning sun. How many of you guys said that the HUD is F1? That just does this top left. What I want to get rid of is everything is get rid of everything. Uh, what I can do is go through, you do console commands and then you press tab, tab, you can just press tab to go through all the different options as we get stuck magically. Uh, but what I try to do is, oh wait, what we can do is, what's this? Auction for field number 33, I don't care. You can start rain, which is nice, but this is what I want to do. Toggle flight and yes, true. And then you press F1, it's not working, if we get out, oh, we get out of here, and I press F1, nothing really, nothing's really happening, like we still have all the different other options. Don't tell me we're stuck for good. What the hell? What the hell? No! No, damn it! Oh, we're stuck, alright. Well, we'll be back next episode, and uh, I'll get that car all done and dusted. I just wanted to find out where the bales are. Maybe it's on the other side, isn't it? It wouldn't really make that much sense because you 
you'd hope they would be near the bay or the uh, trough. It's over here from, yeah, it's over here. There we go, and that is one pallet. So you fill up that massive trailer with a couple of these pallets and you can get a lot of money. But we'll be back next episode. Hopefully it'll be a little longer than this one and hopefully you have enjoyed my animal exploiting activities. Game save down below.